Alright, <clears throat> so we got a little drum bass beat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snare. It's a little thin for the mix, and so I'm gonna show you two different ways to beef it up a little bit. If you like to use uh, Ableton's drum rack, a quick and easy thing you can do is just take the sample and turn the filter on and drop it into a high pass. And then um, if you want to tune it, you know, let's say you're at G, then G is like 200. That's like a body, uh, 100, 200, etc., etc. And then you're going to want to start to turn the resonance up and it's going to cut everything off below 200 and then boost a peak at that resonance so it's going to add some body and listen as I add the resonance in now you can really hear that it's got a lot more body to it um, to turn this filter back off I'm going to show you another way. Indent. This thing is usually on sale for like 15, 20, 10, 15, 20 bucks. But you can do the exact same thing. This is a great little uh, plug in for just like quick saturation. You can just throw on different little tube distortions in and out. It, it's pretty cool. But yeah, bump it down. Same thing. 200, 200 or so. You can obviously adjust that to taste. You can look at frequency maps to see what tuning your scale you're at or key you're in. Now you can tell that we got a whole lot more body in that snare for sure. You can see the peak right here, whereas before. Of course, you're going to want to like glue compress, saturate it, edit it from there. But that's a quick way to get body into a snare without having to layer or do any other extracurricular type stuff.